What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another Tesla video. Today we have version 2020.40.3. We're going to look at the release notes. This release is filled with good, uh, useful quality of life updates. So the big one is speed assist improvements. Uh, this has finally come to Canadians. Uh, we haven't had it up until this update, which is just rolling out over the last 24 uh, to 48 hours. So the speed and assist now leverages your car cameras to detect speed limit signs to improve the accuracy of speed limit data. Basically before, if the speed sign was out of date and not updated, it used to use the car maps um, map data, which you could see under software and navigation data. So it used to use that. Uh, it still does, but if it's out of date, it's gonna use uh, the cameras now to update accordingly. Uh, this is new, as I was saying before, you can see the speed sign here, which says uh, 50, and there's our sign right there that says 50 begins. So I'm actually going to show you guys, I'm going to loop around here. Uh, the road that I'm on used to never show the proper speed. So, All right, so I have autopilot engaged. You can see it's 50 here. There's our sign up there, which is 40. It picked it up, and it actually just jumped down to 40, which it used to never do. Uh, because I have my thing set where it goes 10 higher, uh, it's obviously going to go 10 higher. All right, up next we have priority Bluetooth device. So in avoiding connecting to the wrong device, they have priority Bluetooth device. This is nice if you have like multiple phones or multiple people coming into the car and you want to have one that gets priority to connect to over the others. Uh, this one's pretty simple. You tap Bluetooth in the top right and we click priority device. And now uh, this device is the priority. So if both devices, if both my pixels are uh, connected to my car, uh, the, th the three is going to get priority because I have it toggled on. So something small, but something useful. All right, last but not least, we have glove box pin. So to protect valuables in your glove box, add a four digit pin. And we can do so under safety and security. We scroll all the way down, uh, glove box pin. Uh, for the sake of this video, we're going to type 5,000 because that's the number of subscribers I'm near. So uh, make sure to hit that subscribe button and I can hopefully hit it today uh, as I'm publishing this video. So we have 5,000 is our pin. Uh, and if we come here, we click glove box. It's going to ask for a pin. Um, what if we're on the regular screen and we tap open glove box and <laughs> it pops up. So you don't have to uh, have it just here. Uh, obviously you can say it through voice command and it still works accordingly. And you can see it's not open. We type in our code and I, oh, there you go. It just pops open. So, uh, that is nice. Um, something also I just noticed as I say that. All right. So I was talking about glove box pin and I kind of noticed something. Uh, there is another, uh, change in this update. So Tesla always says, uh, in the release notes, uh, this release contains minor improvements and bug fixes. Well, here is one of the minor improvements. So my buddy, uh, Aaron, uh, he actually asked for this on Twitter, uh, a while ago and Elon said, yeah, sure. We'll add it to the car. Or we'll get the, the change done. So on pin to drive before you used to have to enter in your four digit pin, and then you'd have to hit enter. Okay. Or whatever, uh, for it to confirm that your pin is entered. So every time you get in your car and you put into drive and you enter your pin, you'd have to confirm that you entered your pin. So my buddy Aaron suggested that once you enter your four digits, the pin is automatically entered. So uh, you can see here, you enter the four digits, the pin is automatically entered. Uh, you enter the four digits, the pin is automatically entered. And as you guys saw before, and what I kind of noticed, uh, it works for the glove box as well, which uh, as I say this, you can't enter a one, two, three, four as your pin. So, uh, or one, 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 one. So I guess there is limitations of what you can enter, but nonetheless, as soon as you enter in your four digits, uh, your glove box pin, your pin to drive will automatically, um, like enter in. So there's no more enter button. It just happens automatically. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys have, make sure to leave a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think of the changes. Uh, let me know what you want to see in a future update. Is there any like minor thing you want 
uh, Tesla to change, uh, leave a comment down below. Uh, do like the video, do subscribe for the latest and greatest Tesla content, and most importantly, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.